Now we, what we do is we clap. Oh. And then we clap. <laughs> Sup, Harvey here with Alex. Alex. How you going? And her friends are just there, you can't really see. <laughs> just watching me. Yeah, they're all, they're <laughs> hiding. I wanted to talk about something today that Alex did. Yes. Like two seconds ago and it's <laughs> perfect timing. This is real life, me and my natural habitat. Yeah, exactly, yeah. which is just Starbucks <laughs> coffee and this alleyway, which is unnamed in Melbourne. I'll be editing like a lot of things out. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll like blur me, it's all gonna be you. Now uh, just like. Yeah, you're the, new, you're the new model. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So the thing is, so I work with a lot of women, right? Mm hmm Lucky And you. I guess so. <laughs> I love you. You're gonna cut that out. <laughs> uh, bloopers, bloopers, bloopers. Yeah. But really when it comes down to it, a lot of people are always complaining because they're like, you know, why can't I find a partner or where, why can't I meet the right kind of guys? And the whole thing is, I look at them and I'm like, well, your demeanor is really wrong. Not wrong, but it's not inviting. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yep. So this whole video was gonna be a whole video about um, the metaphor of Bluetooth, which I, re I really like the metaphor because like with Bluetooth, there's like a million Bluetooth devices around, like every phone is a Bluetooth device. But in order to pair a device, you need to go into the settings and make it discoverable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then it actually allows it to work. But she, you, you did this. Alex. Alex. No, I wasn't, I wasn't oh. not saying your name. I was trying to be dramatic. Oh, oh sorry. Um, that you were immediately discoverable. Oh, thank you. Because you were looking at me and I was like, hey, you're looking at me. <laughs> Is this the wrong time to talk about how I'm probably too discoverable? discoverable? No, well, say it, say it, go. What do you mean you're I'm too probably... I can't say that word. I'm probably too dis discoverable. Discoverable. Okay. I'm just always like, oh hey, oh hey, hey, and then that's where like the the bad guys are like. The bad Ooh, guys. Someone really like nice and inviting. Let's go like. <laughs> yeah. So that's really interesting. So this is what we call a nuance point. So, for example, mm -hmm. um, someone who really isn't discoverable. If I tell them, hey, let's be more discoverable, that'll like change their life. But if I tell someone like you to be, hey, be more discoverable, you're like, well, I'm fucking discoverable. <laughs> like, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. That comes down almost to screening. Like, there's a difference there where um, if you want to, like, you're a very discoverable person, <laughs> which we now know, and your friends are, like, giggling away. And They're like, bloody hell, she's so discoverable. Yeah, Come it's like, fuck this, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's just, like, Bluetooth. <laughs> but, um... I guess the difference is comes down to screening. Like if, if guys keep coming up to you and being like, like, how you doing? You know, it's almost like you have to not be less discoverable, but almost have like criteria. Like is, is discoverable a nice word for like eager? Or is discoverable no, more like, no. like just like inviting? Discoverable is more a, a good word for describing inviting. Okay. So having like a welcome open. So someone who isn't discoverable, would be have a more closed uh, body language. Mm -hmm. You were not closed. <laughs> you were open. You were like, "What's happening? I like this guy. Like, I want to go over here." Mm -hmm. Because I know so many people. They'll like stand alone in a bar and be like, like this, and close, and they'll talk to their friends and be very almost like passive aggressive towards people that come up to them. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, they're like, "Why can't I find someone who's nice?" It's like you yeah, were a, you were a dick to everyone. Yeah, that's true. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. This, on the other hand. You're, you're like happy, you're happy to be everywhere. I just get that feeling. <laughs> Have you had some bad experiences with guys where they've just come up to you and, like you said, you attract a lot of like dickhead oh, not, guys. Not like come up to me, like I'm not trying to say, oh, I can't even have coffee before yeah. some guy with the camera is trying to like invite me over. But like, yeah, it's get on camera. Yeah. I'm always like, I don't know, I just feel like, like I'm very, like, like a whole battery situation, like the positive gets the negative, so I'm all like, oh, hey, like, how you going? And then people that are like really negative and like to suck that energy, I feel like I'm a very, I attract those people. That makes sense. I don't know, why are we talking about me? Don't you have that's fine. <laughs> it's a, that's a whole <laughs> yeah, another topic. Other, all right, I'll be here next week, jeez. Yeah, you make sure to subscribe <laughs> so for more Alex and um, apparently less of me. Uh, it's all her now. <laughs> I forgot that there's audio. Do I have to get closer and? How you doing? Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hey. Say subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, I couldn't for a second. Wait. Wait. Subscribe. subscribe. There we go. <laughs> Press her face to subscribe. I think that's it. That's the video. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. cool. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let me just stop recording.